Cedar Fair just announced that Kings Island will be getting Twisted Timbers, the revamp of Hurler. Now, I definitely think this ride is going to be good with all the other rides that they have been adding. I definitely think this will be one of like the best rides in the park. I think it will probably be second best, best rides in the park. It looks really, really fun. I guess it kind of is overshadowed by some of these other, like by Steel Vengeance, but I still think this ride should not be overshadowed. This ride looks sick. So, first start off with the stats. It is 109 feet, not too bad. Um, it's 54 miles per hour. Um, it's it's pretty good, I guess. Um, 3,351 feet long. That's a little short. But a fun fact is that actually it is longer than the original hurler. So that is like very odd for an RMC. Um, so you have three inversions, which I'll get to later when I talk about the ride. You have 20 airtime hills. I think this ride's going to have a ton of good airtime. Um, it's definitely just going to have one of the best airtime you'll ever have. So uh, it is themed to Orchard that used to be named Hanover Hill Orchard, which it has a pretty nice backstory to, but I'm just not going to talk about that. So I like how they made the station look like an old warehouse. I mean, they, like the old hurler station didn't look good at all. And they kind of just revamped it and made it look like just an old warehouse. I really do like it. So we're just gonna let's get to the ride. So you leave the station and go up this 109 foot lift hill, and then go through this barrel roll drop. Everybody was saying it was gonna get a drop like that, and they were right, including me. Everybody was saying that. I mean, like, why wouldn't you do it? That would just be a waste, a drop, if you didn't do that. So then you go through this little bunny hill. And it, or a small ejector airtime hill, which looks pretty fun. And then you go through this big overbank turn. This looks like a very fun element right there. I mean, look at the, like, it's really, like, the degree is pretty not, like, really good. Um, so, then you go, you go through this big overbank turn. This looks like, uh, well, the, yeah, what am I saying? Then you go through... Three massive airtime hills, and this like you this looks like you'll be flying out of your seat. Maybe the best part of the ride. I mean, like three Storm Chaser airtime hills. Like the first airtime hill on Storm Chaser looks like looked like it was gonna be very fun, and I have three of them on the in a row on Twisted Timbers. That is just gonna be awesome. So then you go through this little ejector airtime hill then you go through this weird inversion you kind of go up and then you go upside down but then you turn back i've never really seen that in a roller coaster before it may be new and then um so then you go through this little another ejector airtime hill and then you go through the trick track double up oh <laughs> yeah this was only on storm chaser i think it has survived um so then you go through this airtime hill where you're curving over and then you go and then you turn the other way and go outward but then it like and then you it whips you back so that looks like it's gonna be pretty fun um like kind of just whips you around kind of aggressive and then you go you know and then you go through some more air then you go through this zero g roll this looks like it's going to be normal RMC inversion. It looks pretty fun. Then you go through these banks. And then you go through a couple more airtime hills. And then you get to the brakes. I really do like this ride. I think it It may be as... Um, I don't know. Maybe it may be better than Storm Chaser. No, I think Storm Chaser is actually better. I mean, Storm Chaser was really fun. And this ride looks like it's going to be super fun. But I just think Storm Chaser Beaver, I have no clue why I'm comparing it to Storm Chaser that much. I think it just like has a similar layout. I don't know why. So I think RMC did a great job with this one. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later.